Today, video content creators are transforming the media landscape in the Middle East simply by going online. From Saudi Arabia to Egypt and Jordan, innovators who may have begun with a single video on YouTube have developed fully-fledged media companies that are now luring top talent and competing with the top TV networks in the region. Several major factors are shaping their success. First is the Middle East's hunger for original and localized content. For many of today's most successful online content channels, the key to success has been satire. It's no accident that following the Arab uprisings, a new generation hungry for political comedy turned to YouTube. Perhaps the most famous is popular comedian Bassem Youssef, who launched his satirical news show El Bernameh at the beginning of the Egyptian uprising. After uploading over 108 episodes on YouTube, his show, inspired by American satire The Daily Show, became the most watched online program in Egypt. Kharabish, a pan-Arab media company based in Jordan, also gained a mass following during the Arab uprisings by posting cartoon parodies of Arab dictators. We develop content that covers different disciplines, uh, whether it's comedy, entertainment, constructive talk shows, satiric uh, political uh, videos. We're now one of the, the very top regions in the world with uh, video consumptions on YouTube. Yet our content remains uh, very minor compared to what other countries are producing. Saudi Arabia is one of the hottest markets for online videos and has the world's highest YouTube views per capita with 190 million views a day. One of the companies serving up comedy in Saudi Arabia is U-Turn Entertainment. حتى عالميا يعني تعتبر طفرة غريبة آه إنه في توجه كبير لصناعة المحتوى يعني من السعودية للسعودية بشكل أساسي وهذا آه شيء مميز يعني جدا فأولاد اليوم إحنا مشكلتنا الأساسية مو هو مو إيجاد المعلنين بس آه يعني توفير محتوى آه يعني جماهيري هذه أصعب مشكلة إيش اللي a show produced by U-Turn Entertainment has the highest number of YouTube subscribers in Saudi Arabia. You know, Ish Illi has over 1.5 million subscribers, which is which is absolutely huge. And something they're very, very proud of and they pushed um, to, to get to that number. And it's basically, you know, a guy, you know, just standing there and, and talking. With advertisers knocking at their doors, these new talents discovered online have been able to leap from online to offline through national campaigns for global brands. And as of March of 2013, content creators have been able to monetize through ads on YouTube with the launch of the partnership program in Saudi Arabia, Egypt, and the UAE. Mesa Amir is another animated show created by Saudi media company Lumi that got its start on YouTube and is now being aired on national Saudi television. الماركت يعتبر عندنا السعودية ماركت انيميشن يعتبر لسه زي ما نقول ارض خصبة عذراء حتى ما حدا قام باي خطوة جادة تجاه الانتاج يعني تقريبا مسامير له فترة فوق السنة تقريبا الان يعني ما بتنزل حلقة الا فيها ادفرتايزمنت اند سبونسرز كوميدي هاويفر از نوت ذا اونلي دومين فيديو كريترز ار ستيكينج تو Brands like Zaytune, Ikef, and Di Salata are tackling everyday practical solutions like cooking and instruction, taking advantage of the high mobile penetration in the region. Based in Jordan, Zaytune is one of the companies producing short cooking instructional videos. Zaytune.com is a website that is specialized in cooking videos. الفيديوهات مدتها ما بيتعدى ثلاث دقائق بالإضافة إنه طلعنا الابليكيشنز تبعونا على الاي او اس وعلى اندرويد وعم نحاول ناخذ بعين الاعتبار أي شيء الناس المستخدمين تبعونا عم بيطلبوه ونقدمه لهم The fact that it's easier than it's ever been to create online video content in the region has allowed a new generation of celebrities to launch their careers online What, what, is, what is great about the success stories is 
these are not necessarily people who came up, you know, were brought up in, in the industry, in, you know, the, the, the traditional broadcast industry. So it's great to see them make a name for themselves, see how advertisers are, are, are very interested in them and are dealing with them. With many hurdles to tackle, this is only the beginning of the online video movement in the Middle East. And one of the main issues is the lack of tools and resources for online video creators.